Yeah, it's a, a community building type project. We have volunteers that uh, just work on the trails for uh, the sake of it, like uh, my friend Ryan. We have uh, volunteers that are paid members through, IM through IMBA. We have uh, the volunteers uh, that are just uh, through the county, say uh, Parks and Recs. Uh, that's the idea with this trail. The, the, the reason to build this trail is to build a partnership with the county so that we can build other trails um, in other places and that they know that we can complete a project uh, once we start it. That's what my mom daddy asked me to come build trails in the woods for bicycles. I was in because that's what I've been doing since I was a little kid. There's two ways to build the trail. You can do fundraising and pay a company to come in and do it, or you can do it yourself. And I found that uh, the latter, uh, just building it yourself, is how you have, is the way that you create more interest in the trail through the community and people take pride in the work that they've done and uh, are more interested in sharing the trail with other folks and telling them about it. And there's folks using the baseball, the fields, and fishing. Other members of their family can bring their bikes, so it's a, an additional asset for the park uh, for people that may not want to do exactly what everyone else is doing. And of course, the health benefits that go along with bicycle riding and being outdoors and being able to see nature. They always take extreme safety measures. That's what I like about uh, working with those guys actually now is that the tools are much better than they were when I was a kid. <laughs> build bridges and build tank turns, a couple of obstacles, weedy uh, trails and freight trails. Occasionally, when they have uh, races, we're also musicians, so we play music for those, um, and DJ from time to time. So, that's what we do, we go help them with the trail. <laughs>